So a little quick video on some thoughts and feels of what I'm trying to do with uh, the Cobra 3D printed putter, the Igera arm lock, You've got the same pot lab running. Um, I like the TP5X Pix ball. I like how it runs, I like how it's rolling the visuals to the equation. Um, I got this perfection platform today, perfectly flat. I love using just one ball when I'm doing stuff on the platform. Like my setup process is eyes. I like the putter setup just slightly to the inside of the golf ball on the ball line, to the inside of the target line. I like to have a quicker look with my eyes to the target, slower one back to establish the eyes. And I like to set my feet in. And I like to move the putter behind the ball, and when I like that, I'll put my lead hand on here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and make a stroke, okay? <clears throat> I don't like the putter behind the ball for very long. I like to put it there. Same thing that I do with my Adele. I like the feeling more with the putter and the trail hand. Feeling the weight, even though I'm right hand dominant. I like to feel it on the number three pressure point. I do like the grip, like with a seam is. Kind of gives me a good reference point to where to put that putter. There are days where I will put brake on, but the initial testing phase, trying to create some baselines so I can understand what I need to practice with this thing. I'll do a test. I'll do some training with it. Try to treat every putt like it would be the last putt in the tournament, a 10 foot putt to make it full routine. <clears throat> when I'm training every now and again, I will look at the same putt lab, some of the data pieces, make sure that I am achieving the goal of the session. here to my routine really well. I want this process to be completely locked in. So I feel like I don't have to worry about changing it when I get in the golf course. It's very regimented how I set my feet in relation to the ball line. I like my lead foot, the inside of my lead foot. Just one club head. Right from the target side, the ball line. That would be my ball line. I like where it is, where it puts the ball in relation to where I want it in relation to my chest. So I watch those pieces. Trail foot moves about two balls back with the ball line. I just like the way that ball rolls. <clears throat> I like the visual. I'm using a single line, I don't like it at all. It's weird, I guess. My preference is this. A little bit more busier, single line. Very messing with my head. I like my lead hand on my hip to help me with my hip line in relation to being square, helps with my shoulders.
said, it feels weird having the arm, the lead arm like that. It stabilizes the face really well. I feel like I line myself up way better this way. Especially in that mid to long range pucks. Way better. I do wish the putter was heavier. I best Cobra, the rep. Give me some weights so I can jack with this thing. <clears throat> but I like the upright, it changes my sight lines. I feel like it improves them a little bit more. I made that kind of little adjustment the other day when I was messing with the Adele. My sight lines. But I would say, really quickly, I do like this concept a lot. Yeah, um, I don't like the look of it. No, I like the look of my Adele. Not any difference there. course are good eventually you'll start to kind of realize it is what it is I didn't like that at all so I feel like the putter gets a little light I lose it a little bit in my hands all right that was a 32 inch putter 370 head 30 gram Four inches down from the top of the grip. I feel like it's a tank. Still super stable. Takeaway sequence. It's way nicer. Thing goes in all day. Next thing I'll do is I'll start playing around with some breaking putts. See how that guy works. I do like it. The concept is pretty good. <clears throat> just want the thing heavier. When I get more weight in the head, I'll play around with shoving some of the weights that I have down the shaft. create something very similar to my Adele. I like the ability to square this thing up is what I really like. I would just want this thing to be, like I said, a little heavier. I'm not even sure if you can see the line. The line is like stupid good. <clears throat> the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put myself on gears with this guy. See how consistent I can be with the, the setup and get more data. I do wish, I'm just playing around with this thing, that I got into the LA golf shaft. Or the TPT. Get some testing on the LA golf shaft with my mess <clears throat> versus the shaft in my Adele. Way more stable. 
kind of close. I'd love to mess with that in my Adele head, but I'm kind of <laughs> superstitious and petrified of changing that thing. Because I pop really, really good with that thing. Had that thing in my bag for 12 years. I was trying to play professional golf. When I was playing professional golf, I was trying to play on the PGA Tour. I was playing professional golf. Like I'd go through putters like they were water. Just couldn't find anything that I was really, really consistent with. Right. When I first got to Texas, I got from Sam Pop Lab. Worked there on my best putter that I had. You can see I'm kind of looking back at it. Did some testing on it. Couldn't get the damn thing above 50%. And my wife, she didn't come down with me right away. Send me a putter for my other another putter down. <clears throat> I had to send me more and more and more. None of them were any good. <clears throat> At home, like I could either put a thimble out there and make everything, or you could put a bathtub and I'd miss it. The dough was crazy good. I hate that thing. You like the look of it. Got fit for it. Learned a few things. Put myself, ordered it. It came in, tested it, it's like 93% consistency. I hate the look of it, I'm trying to get rid of it. Use all the powders, nothing. Parts nowhere near as good as it on the CM or even on the golf course. Never been able to get rid of it. It's awesome. I love the feel of it, love the look, I don't love the look, I just like the feel, sound way it pots. This guy's really solid as you can see. I would like it like I said get a little heavier. Especially in the takeaway. I always feel like it's a little I struggle with my lab <clears throat> and asked him to put a uh, plug in the back. I tried to but the LA golf shaft and the weights that I have that go down the shaft don't fit. Somebody tried ordering a few, nothing would fit in there. Just wanted to see the feel of it. I've asked them to see if they would do something for me. Said they'd have to 3D print the weight. They haven't gotten me it done. like that one was kind of weird in the back soon, but I, know, I seem to correct it. It really locked in on the target with this thing, which is weird. Kind of hard to explain. I'm basically hitting a 10 foot putt too. I think things out about a 12, pretty quick. On the golf course, that mid range stuff, it looked like they're going to go in a little bit more than what my Adele is. Or does. I also don't practice mid-range putts. So on this side, when I'm on here, I practice a lot of putts. And I hit that one hard enough. Oh, got it. Um, I practice a lot of 10-foot putts. Putts inside 10 feet, flat, different breaks. On the other side of the building, I practice a lot. I don't have a hole in the ground. I practice a lot of speed control stuff. I practice a lot of speed control stuff, and then I practice a lot of what I would say is must makes. But you can see, like, my routine doesn't really deviate that much. I'm, you know, I wouldn't be talking, but so it kind of calms my mind down, especially when I put my lead hand down there and retake the grip. Just let it go. So there are some of my thoughts on this thing. I think the thing is pretty solid. Is it for everybody? Probably not. 
Should people give it a whirl? Yeah. I played two rounds of golf with it. Uh, one time on the same putt lab. So far, I'm liking it. I got one month uh, with it on the course with my Arcos data. Then I'll compare the Arcos data from the Adele to this and I'll make a decision.